Hey guys, what is going on here today and welcome back to our brand new episode of the Trading to the Full BPL team this season. Sorries haven't been out as much as they could be, but sadly guys, it's going to be so much harder to trade in the next few days. The players are like struggling to sell, so you come, we come in here actually and we have a lot of things sold. But guys, once again, thanks so much for 1,050 subs. I've hit another milestone, getting close to 1.1k already, which is just amazing. I can't thank any of you enough, like it's just insane how much we're gaining at the moment. But yeah, keep subscribing if you are new, obviously like the videos. I've got a five more giveaway going on my channel at the moment, the video's on 94 likes. I'd be seeing if you get to 100 likes on that, so if you haven't already entered, make sure you do go and do that. Um, or if you do, just comment down below why you should win, and then comment your console, and I'll pick someone. Well, it'll be a random, like, pick, but yeah. Um, you see here, loads of deals again, just sick deals. I mean, we're staying easily above a million coins now every time we do this. And guys, yeah, I don't know when we're going to start buying players, but not yet. We're going to probably buy it all towards the end. Like, I don't want to buy them while they're not, like... If you know what I mean, you can see on the market that most of them aren't actually selling, so like, what's the point in buying them really? When they're just um, selling for the minimum, it's no point whatsoever. So I might as well wait for that anyway. But yeah, I think like Hazard and Aguero are about a mil each, 1.1 mil each, something like that. So um, yeah, that's about 2 mil. I'm figuring out I have a team, as you can, you can see what I'm doing here, but I'm figuring out a team to be about 3.5 mil coins max. I'm going to just check now, like 100k for De Gea probably in the end. Um, John Terry will probably be like 100 again, probably less than 100. The only expenses are really going to be Costa, I think like 200k, 300k probably. But yeah, mostly you should easily be able to get, uh, Costa's 400k, there you go. Sanchez is 600 and Aguero and Hazard like a mil each. So yeah, it's going to be quite a bit, but it's going to be pretty fun getting there. We will get there in the end, like, I'm having fun doing this as well, so that's another good thing. And I don't know if I'm going to pick up Morgan Snydlin because he wasn't actually in the team in the week, but he's in the most consistent, so I'm going to probably still pick him up because he's only 100k anyway. So I'm going to trade to a little bit extra as well. But yeah, guys, just selling loads of things here again, 1.187 at the moment. And yeah, these won't be out as often as I said like before because um, it's going to be hard to bring them out over time. It's too hard. Like I can't trade that much for like a day just to get one of these out every single time you want one because... Like I said, it's pretty, it is pretty much impossible to be fair. It's like solid because I have to just sit here most of my night after school and just do this without any homework. So I'm probably saying two or three a week maximum at the moment just due to that because, um, yeah, I want to. There'll be other videos out there, there'll be some player reviews out now, and obviously there will be a few other things out. Like, of course, um, trading tips as usual and a few pack openings, but I don't want to get a channel into that, but I just want to just um, put a few out there at the moment when I'm a bit busy. And obviously during the summer holidays, I'm on holiday for about three weeks of it, so again there. Uh, that series will hopefully be done by the summer holidays, I'd really hope so, I'm a bit worried if it wasn't. But um, yeah, after that I'll probably just do something during like kind of a way that I can make really easily before I go, and then just upload them daily or something like that, just something different, and we'll try and think of some ideas. But yeah, here guys, we're just listing them up, and basically, I'm listing them all up this episode, and then when we get back, I'm gonna, then it will see if they've sold. So next time we're back, they will have hopefully sold on. That's the idea anyway. I'm not showing them sold in this one, because I didn't want it to be too long. It's already about four minutes long overall, so yeah, I'm just going to leave it at that, and then show at the start of the next episode, everything that's sold on, and then hopefully I've picked up some more deals um, with a bit of luck. But yeah, uh, just going through here once again, searching through. The deals. I'm just showing you every single player that I picked up. Hopefully, you can smash 20 likes as well. That would be amazing. Keep continuing the support. That'd be awesome of you if you could. And yeah, just loads of convert silver again. I mean, so I'm getting a bit repetitive, but you shouldn't really because there's loads of different players I'm doing it. It's not just the same players. And if it works, why would I change it? That's the thing. If it isn't broke, don't like change it. If you know what I mean, just keep at what works. So if you're doing this and it's working for you, keep doing it. If it's not, change to something different. That's all I'm gonna say really as my advice to trade and just. Yep, do something that you're doing well at. That's the best thing to do. Not of anything really, but yeah, um, I'm sounding a bit inspirational here. I'm going to stop. But yeah, um, this is what's in the episode now. We have 1.1 mil left and about 90 players, I think. So that's awesome. Once again, some amazing profit. Just continuing to make sick profit like we always do. But yeah, that is in the episode. If you have enjoyed, make sure you smash that like button and comment down below. Thanks very much for watching if you got to this point, and I'll see you all next time.